Let's start. Dear viewers, welcome. Hello viewers, welcome to my presentation. The title of my presentation is Allelochemicals, their modes of action and rules of allelopathy in agriculture. The outline of my presentation. Introduction, background, objectives, materials and methods, results and discussion, conclusion and finally recommendation. Introduction. We know presently allelopathy is a very discussed topic. Now I will go through the introduction. What are allelochemicals? Allelochemicals are a subset of secondary metabolites which are not required for metabolism. These biochemicals can have beneficial or detrimental effects on the target organism. What is allelopathy? Allelopathy is a biological phenomenon by which an organism produces one or more biochemicals that influence the growth, survival and reproduction of other organism. Background The term allelopathy originated from two Greek words. Allelon means each other and pathos means sufferings. That term coined by plant physiologist Hans Mollis, University of Vienna, Austria. Allelopathy was first detected by Davis in black walnut tree whose foliar detect containing jugolon was found to damage germination and cylindrical growth beneath the tree. Jugolon is an allelochemical. Now pathos also means feeling or sensitive and could therefore be used to describe both positive and negative interactions. Objectives. The objective of my presentation are to find out the allelochemicals which are responsible for suppressing weeds, to know the modes of action of different allelochemicals, to know the weeds which can be controlled by using allelochemicals, and finally, the importance of allelopathy in agriculture. Materials and methods. The seminar paper is a review paper completely based on secondary data. Data are collected from Library of Sheri Bangla Agricultural University, books, national and international journals, class lectures, contact with supervisor and internet browsing. Result and discussion. Allelopathic chemicals. Aldrich describes two types of allelopathic chemicals. Two types. They release into the environment of compounds that are toxic in the form in which they are produced. And functional type. They release into the environment a substance that is toxic as the result of transformation by microorganism. Classification of allelopathic chemicals. Allelochemicals can be classified into 10 categories according to their different structures and properties. Water soluble organic acids, straighten alcohol, aliphatic aldehyde, and triton. Now, organic acid or organic compounds having acidic properties. They contain hydroxyl group, phenolic group, alcohol group, etc. Simple lactone, long chain fatty acid and polyacetylenes, quinine. We know quinine is a fat carbon derivative. Phenolics, cinnamic acid and its derivatives, palmarins, flavonoids, theanines, esteroids and terpenoids. Figure 1. Figure 1 shows us different routes of releasing allelochemicals from a donor plant. Allelochemicals can be released by volatilization from leaves. You know, volatilization is the vaporization of any dissolved solvent. Leaching from leaves by rain, fog, or dew. What is leaching? Leaching is the downward movement of a so liquid through soil horizon. Phytotoxic compounds from decomposing plant material and phytotoxic compounds released from plant roots. Figure 2, figure 2 shows us biosynthetic pathway of major allelopathic chemicals. Here, pyruvic acid is the main constituent. Some part of pyruvic acid turn into glucose and some into acetum. From acetum, some part turn into amino acid, some into flavonoid, some into organic acid, and alcohol, and some into malvoid, and finally, terpenoid and steroid. Some part of glucose turn into dehydroxychemic acid, Dehydro, from dehydroxychemic acid, some, part time, some parts turn into shikimic acid, some into gallic acid. Major part of gallic acid turn directly into tannic acid and rest part into degallic acid. 
from the gallic acid it finally turns into galactic acid some part of shikimic acid turn into amino acid and rest part phenyl ketonuric acid and anthraquinone amino some part of amino acid directly turn into cinnamic acid and its derivative and rest part into amino acid alkyl alkyl synhedrin sulfate purine nucleotide etc a cinnamic acid most part of cinnamic acid and its derivative turn from directly into flavonoid and some into simple phenyl and benzoic acid some into carmaric flavonoid finally turn into rhodanin now modes of action of different allylochemicals mode of action of some allylochemicals is similar to synthetic herbicide allylopathic compound affect germination and growth of neighboring plant by disruption of various physiological process including photosynthesis respiration water and hormonal balance the underlying cause of their action is mainly inhibition of enzyme activity some allylochemicals can inhibit protein synthesis phenolic allylochemicals from orange sativa can inhibit amino acid transport and protein synthesis and the subsequent growth of created plant all phenolics could reduce the integrity of dna and rna figure 3 shows us induction of allylochemicals due to exposure of high light ultraviolet radiation only a pathogen attacked allylochemicals released from the donor plant and um, it act on the receptor plant and finally cause the suppressing of seed suppressing seed germination inhibition due to shoot growth and other mass stem sometimes it also have positive effect figure 4 is the most important part of the seminar paper presentation it shows us the mode of action of bioallelopathic chemicals here we see in the slide that allelochemicals a uh, plant membrane is divided into two part inside membrane and outside membrane allelochemicals <laughs> enters into um, the inside membrane through the target point target from target point it damages the membrane system it reaches to the hormonal level and it causes disbalance in hormonal level when hormonal level is disbalanced the a whole physiological system is of plant is inter interrupted and finally is uh, it interrupt with cell division and elongation and at the end it cause restriction of plant growth such it um, re- it stops the plant growth and sometimes it cause it cause plant death figure 5 figure 5 shows us multidimensional nature of allelopathic interaction previous previously i have described two types of allelopathy figure 1a shows as two type allelopathy and figure 1b shows as functional type allelopathy in figure 1a donor plant releases allelochemical f and x which directly reaches to the acceptor plant b and cause stunted growth and finally death of the acceptor plant figure 1b shows that uh, allelochemical x released from the donor plant a and it convert uh, it my microorganism transformation it reaches to the acceptor plant b and finally interrupt with the plant growth and development and f- right side of figure 1b shows that allelochemical x released from donor plant a who is hmm, who is cause the death of who is sorry um allelochemicals x releases from the donor plant which uh, enhances influences the microorganism to release allelochemical z and allelochemical z finally restricts finally restricts acceptor plant and cause death of acceptor plant b now importance of allelopathy in agriculture we know allelopathy is not a new term scientists have been working with it for a long time but now it has received mostly the researchers and physio uh, biochemist uh, attention fitable one shows us allelopathic activity of crops to suppress wheat crop rice uh, rice is allelopathic rice contains the allelochemicals then phenolic acids for hydroxy benzoic acid for hydroxy hydrocinnamic acid and for dihydroxy hydrocinnamic it suppresses the wood limb red stem and bineyard grass wood contain allelochemical hydroxymic acid phenolic acid 
shorts and fatty acid it's a procured in annual ryegrass cucumber um, has also Cucumber also contains some allele chemicals. They are benzoic acid and cinnamic acid. Black mustard contains allyl isocyanate and it suppresses the growth and yield of wild oat. Black wheat contains some allele chemicals named fatty acid. Clover contains isoflavonoids and phenolics. Sweet clover also contains isoflavonoids and phenolics. Oat contains phenolic acid. Cereals contain hydroxamic acid. Uh, Sudan grass contains phenolic acid and durin. Sorghum has the allele chemical and sorgiolone and it suppresses the growth and yield of pigweed. Rye contains allele chemicals named dimboa and it <coughs> interrupts the growth and yield of pigweed. And pigeon bean uh, suppresses the yeah, purple nut cells. And finally, velvet bean um, suppresses the growth and yield of purple nut cells. Table 2 shows us which control through allelopathic crop water extract. <coughs> crop water can be incorporated directly in the soil and it controls the many weeds. Sorghum extract is applied to wheat, cotton, mug bean, and rice. It acts based on cotton and uh, weeds are con weeds named uh, Trianthema portulacastrum, Cynodendactylum, and Cypress rotundus are controlled. Uh, it acts based on cotton and reduces with density 47% reduction in dry weight 29 to 40.1% and yield increase 77 to 59%. Um, table 3 shows us which control through allelopathic mulches, crop residues incorporation, cover crop and intercropping. Sorghum extract is incorporated into wheat field and it suppresses the growth and yield of Phalaris minor and Cenopodium album. It reduces wheat um, weight 48 to 56%, yield increase 16 to 17%. And so, sunflower, uh, plus sunflower, rice, and brassica is directly applied into soil and it controls the weight named trianthema portula castratum and it reduces wheat weight up to 60.1 percent it increases up to 41 percent and cotton and sorghum intercropping uh, reduces with the <coughs> wheat species named trianthema portula castratum and convolvulus arvensis it act based causing wheat weight reduction up to 92 percent so uh, we can say that it is a very feasible and economically profitable practice. Figure 4 shows insect, pest and disease control through allelopathy. Uh, no neem has excellent allelopathic properties and it reduces the growth and de growth development and reproduction of many many insect pests named Porchyra, uh, Cephalonica, root knot nematode, flower thrip, Pot borer and percent control is 38.3 to 63.7 percent. Table uh, head shows list of cover crops that suppress different weeds. We know cover crop are those crop with a very quick growing properties and it uh, covers the land with a very short period of time. Cereal rye is a cover crop and it suppress the wood name lamb squatter, red root pigwood, common pigwood. Crimson clover suppress the growth and yield of pitted morning glory, wild mustard, Italian ryegrass. Hairy vest suppress the wheat name lamb squatter, yellow nurses, pitted morning glory. So, sorghum, so, uh, sorghum, sudan grass control the growth and yield of annual ryegrass. Velvet bean control the growth of yellow nurses and chickweed. Wood control the growth of morning glory and prickly cedar. Here, uh, I am. Uh, show you a graph the graph shows legume cover crop affect radical elongation of different plant species to varying degree here the radical elongation of radish and cotton is based in control plot and it is less to the, the plot uh, treated with hairy weeds control plot is the plot where no uh, treatment is used limitation of using allelopathic effect Limitations are both because the plant itself producing allelochemicals and the environmental condition. Some allelochemicals are toxic to human beings and are carcinogenic. While moving in the soil, allelochemicals may undergo transformation at various 
methods regarding soil environment like physical, chemical, biological and physico-chemical properties of soil. After entry into the soil, allelochemicals may be toxified or detoxified by microbes. Many allelochemicals are very less expensive to synthesis in spite of having excellent herbicidal properties as for example tentroxin. The amount of nutrient available to the plant and the efficiency of the plant to utilize the nutrient strongly influences the allelopathic potentiality. Conclusion Allelochemicals seems to be a fruitful challenge for combining traditional agricultural practices and new approaches in pest management strategies. Allelochemicals have already been used to defend crops against pathogens, insect or nematode parallel to some attempt to use them for old control. Both in natural and agricultural ecosystems, allelopathic interactions are involved in practically every aspect of plant growth, as they can play the role of stimulant and suppressants. With the rapid development of analytical techniques and biotechnology, research on these areas are enhancing day by day. So, allelopathy will become an important component in the development of future integrated wood management strategies. Recommendations The study of ecological interaction at the sea in the search for new bioactive agent useful in crop protection and medicine. So, chemical studies of several types of marine organisms should be done. It can be applied as a component in an integrated pest management system because in addition to 